What's the deal, y'all? Welcome to another episode of Cultivated Minds, and today we're gonna be talking about shh, stop talking. Check it out. You know, I'm sure myself definitely and everybody else can relate to, you know, a lot of people that you done dealt with <clears throat> within our lives that you realize, man, shouldn't have said anything. I shouldn't have gave any type of information. That's why I say, stop talking. <clears throat> you know, you got a lot of people that are data collectors. They only want to see what you're up to to, you know, possibly one up you just to see what you got going on so they can probably gossip to somebody else or just to have that information on you. You know, they just always want to, you know, collect that and see what you got going on. And <clears throat> some people, I feel like, you know, habitually, you know, you might tell them something and giving them information, they agreeing with you. You know, they sitting there quiet, you know, <laughs> mouth wide open, eyes all big. They might not really even be saying too much to you. Then you thinking like, yeah, they on the same page as you. You know, this is my real one. They listen to what I got to say. Later on, you come to find out, you know, they telling people outside of your inner circle some of the things you uh, talking about, some of the goals you said you was going to try to reach. Or, you know, just, you know, they bringing peop other people into your realm of reality. And I think that's another thing that happens. You know, when you just talking and giving information to certain people, um, it brings them to your esoteric realm. What I mean by that is kind of like, you know, it's bringing them into your realm of reality, how you think, you know, how you see things. Um, now you're fighting with their subconscious, you know, they doubts, they beliefs, and how they view reality to work and things like that, they perspective. And I mean, at the end of the day, you can probably say, you know, everybody has their own perspective, that's true. But then you do have your real ones. You know, only a cho chosen few, only a select few should know my realm of reality, you know, what I'm actually trying to attain, you know, the ones that I know is genuine, 100% authentic with me. <clears throat> my best homie, like my dog, when I tell him something, I know we're on the same page. I know he going to keep it 100% real, even if it's something that he might feel like going to make me feel away or something like that. It ain't never going to be, you know, no behind the back or, you know, me hearing that he done told somebody else about what I said. You know what I'm saying? Opposed to just sitting there, you know, bug eye, mouth open, listening for what I'm saying, data collecting. He going to actually, you know, give me the real, like, hey, bro, like, you know, that wasn't cool. Or, hey, I actually think that's, you know, that's a good idea. Or even if, you know, he not 100% with it, he gonna give me information or advice to where it could it could possibly, you know, work in my favor more so. And that's what I mean by, you know, bringing people in your esoteric realm of reality. And, you know, some people, they get information from you, or what they hear what you say, and later on, y'all might have like a little uh, disagreement, or y'all might just uh, be saying certain things, and the truth come out. They start weaponizing some of the things that you have told them and you kind of like, oh, oh yeah, that's how you really feel about it? You know, they weaponizing some of the things you said and trying to use it against you. That's one thing you really can't do, you know, just not weaponizing things against people. You know what I'm saying? Um, sometimes people really might feel like they can, you know, confide in you or tell you some truth. And that's why I say um, it's only a chosen few, only, a, you know, a select few that you can actually really tell a couple things to, you know. You know, don't be out here just giving everybody information and things like because everybody ain't your friend everybody ain't your family whether y'all blood or not you get what i'm saying um can't be out here just uh giving information to all type of people you got to keep people on a uh, a need to know you know because a lot of people might just have i ain't gonna say ill intentions you know they just like to hear things just to see how you think and then possibly you know use it against you later or they just kind of they just want to be one step ahead of you one up you they want to see uh where you come from or you know make a joke out of some things like that so you got to be very very conscious and you know selective of just who you talking to you know <clears throat> i think also we just got to lead by example you know we got to lead by example you know walk on our path like i said in my last video you know you can't change the actions of others but i guarantee when you change your actions and how you move the people around you are going to also change too you know they're going to adjust to your frequency you know like when you you tune in that frequency in front of uh, certain people they're going to adjust to how it is you know what i'm saying and if, and if you feel like it can't be like that that's where like i say you got to keep that distance because um you know just can't be giving everybody information you know it brings people in like i said that realm of your reality um, people be data collecting, you know, they sending out your vibrations and the things you saying to others. And, um, I just feel like, you know, 
only a select type of people, you know. Make sure your authentic ones know exactly where you're coming from. Don't be bringing everybody, you know, into your space, your mental space, your uh, spiritual energy, just things like that. So as far as that, you know, just keep a lot of things to yourself. Keep people on the need to know, you know. Uh, keep on doing what, you know, is right for you and move at your own pace, you know, you versus you. Stop talking. No, but that's all I really had to say, you guys. I'm just trying to get you guys to think. Don't forget to hit that um, like and subscribe button. Build with me in the comments, y'all. This Cultivated Minds, and I'm signing out.